We're back to give you the legal edge. This evening, we're tackling what many across the country now consider to be an outdated Michigan law. A Kent County couple made national news recently when they were denied parental rights to their newborn twins. You see, they used a surrogate who offered to carry the babies out of the goodness of her heart and didn't want any money. But when they petitioned the court to determine who was going to be the parents, who would get custody, and whose names were going on the birth certificates, the court denied the biological parents. Well, Michigan has something called the Surrogate Parenting Act, which it, many people believe is outdated. It's a 1988 law. There's a provision in the law that says this, Siobhan, a surrogate parentage contract is void and unenforceable as contrary to public policy. And so the judge read that provision and said, hey, my hands are tied. I may not like it, but it's up to the legislature to fix it. But I'm sure, I mean, people have done this in the past, right? I mean, this isn't the first case to go before a judge. Sure, sure. Many have been approved, and it was the belief of, of many uh, lawyers who do this type of work that judges would approve it in limited circumstances where everyone agrees. You've got, um, you know, a couple who's married, and you've got a couple who can prove that at least one of them is biologically the parents of the child or children that are being born. Um, but but the judges in this case, there's actually two judges in, in, on the west side of the state that said they weren't going to approve it. It said, hey, we have to enforce the letter of, of the law, and this is what the statute says. It's up to the legislature to change it. So let's talk about the legal consequences of the judge denying this family their children. Well, the obvious one that we mentioned is that, that the children are not going to list their biological parents on the birth certificate. The parents now have to go through a lengthy and potentially expensive adoption process. And, and, and then, you know, one of the unforeseen consequences also is the, the biological parents can't get their kids on their health insurance. Oh, right. Right. Wow. Um, does this happen? In, what's going on in other states? Michigan is only one of three states that just outright forbids any type of surrogate parentage agreement. And, and it really is kind of behind the times and outdated this law from 1988. You know, I think a lot of people would agree needs to be updated with safeguards. Now, two state senators proposed legislation back in 2016 to legalize surrogate parent contracts with certain protections, but the bill never went anywhere.